I was not expecting to see this giant shrine in the middle of the shopping mall, to be perfectly honest with you guys. But I am pleasantly surprised, and this is really cool. But first of all, if you're new to the channel, I upload PSO2 content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the first thing I want you guys to do when you log into PSO2 is come to the shrine and pray to it. Now we can't fly to Japan and pray at a real shrine, so we're going to have to make do with the PSO2 shrine. So we're going to come up to here and we're going to do it in traditional Japanese fashion. You're going to press E, you're going to ring the bell, you're going to put some money and you're going to clap your hands. And bow. Okay. Okay, let's see what our prize is. This doesn't happen in real life, unfortunately. We got good fortune, stick to your fighting style, and good things will come to you. You hear that, everyone? Stick with your fighting style. Just play however you want to play. That's my fortune, so uh, I'm just going to continue to play like an absolute monkey. Now, after you finish praying to the shrine and you see your fortune, then you can begin to do whatever you wanted to do. Because nothing new has really been added to the game. They did update the AC shop, so if you do want to spend a little bit of money, you can do that. So if we jump over to my second monitor over here, we can see there's the AC shop sale 1-1 or January 1st. And we've got two sets. We've got the beginner support set as well as the adventure support set. Uh, one costs 650 AC, the other costs 2200 AC. And uh, yeah, we just get a bunch of goods over here. However, something that I want to talk about is the mag tickets over here because that allows you to have multiple different mags on the same characters. So you can always switch your mag depending on what class you're playing. So for example, I use a dex mag. My dex mag works perfectly well with the classes that I play with the phantom as well as the braver. But now if I were ever to switch to a tacker, for example, or a force, Having a dex mag is absolutely useless for those classes. So if you do have a mag ticket, then you'll have two mags. So whenever you switch to your force or another class that doesn't need a dex mag, you can just switch your mag as well and you'll be good to go. So that might be one benefit. However, you do need to spend real money. You cannot spend star gems. This will cost AC. Now another thing I want to remind everyone is your weeklies. A lot of people have not been doing their weeklies and you guys really, 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 really should be doing your weeklies because you get some pretty good rewards. In this week's weekly missions, there's actually a time attack requirement. And if you do complete the time attack, you actually get a reward over here. So let's just pick that up. It is the Hey Unit Box or the Hiei Unit Box, I guess. That's how it's pronounced. But we're going to open it up and we're going to take a look what's inside because I want to see the augments to be honest. So the units are all right-ish, but please don't actually use these units. The ones you get free from just beating episode 5 or episode 6 are going to be much, much better. And the offset that we also got for free is also going to be a lot better than this set. What I was originally thinking was maybe you could use this set in order to rip the augments off them if they were good. Unfortunately, the augments aren't very good. So, um... Yeah, probably not worth taking these augments, so you can just throw them on an alt if you want, it's better than nothing, or you can just, I don't know, salvage it or something. Now, I really hate time attack. When you go to subclass and you go to time attack quest, I hate all of these time attack quests. The main reason is because you're running around, the map's stupidly complicated, there's all these stupid barriers that block your way, you've got to step on the little panels to unblock the force fields, and it's just a pain in the butt, right? I just hate time attacks however there is one time attack right here called rush practice harugatan this one is by far my favorite time attack to run the reason is because it is simple you're in a small tiny room and enemies just spawn in front of you you just need to defeat a hundred enemies you do that you kill all hundred you're done with your time attack it's so so easy so fast so efficient i love it so if you ever do get the weekly that requires you to do a time attack just do the rush practice harugatan over here just do it on super hard and you'll just tear through everything because the mobs are going to be level 70 and you're like level 90 level 95 you're just going to blast through them super super easy especially if you got an atlas ex weapon that's going to be even easier so uh yeah that's pretty much how i blasted through my time attack 
Now, last but not least, there is a change with the Rappies and Niao. They are wearing special outfits and they do drop special loot. The Rappies are now dressed up as dragons and they spew fire. It's actually pretty cool. And when you defeat them, there's a chance of getting a Rappy suit. There's like a whole spectrum of all the different Rappy suits there. They can drop that. And as for Niao, Niao can also drop a 13 star katana, I believe. The picture looked pretty cool, but I won't know until I get one myself. And if it looks really cool, I might actually use it for my weapon camo since, uh, I don't really have a katana skin for my new look. I'm still using like the Excalibur looking sword, but I really like the sword skin, so I'm not in any rush to find a replacement. Now in tomorrow's video, I'm going to be teaching all of my fellow content creators out there how to use the green screen, where I did all those silly intros like at the beginning, like I'd have Genshin Impact or like Persona or some VTubers or something dancing in the background. And so if you're interested in learning that, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Here's a sneak peek on what the room actually looks like without edit. It's literally a freaking neon bright screen that blinds the crap out of me. And I literally have to stand in front of it, blind myself and record. And then in post edit, I'll put everything in. But either way, I'll cover all of that in tomorrow's video, including where you can get the green screen. Anyway, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. Can I say except you're welcome.